Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a dynamic annual calendar with holiday. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this beautiful annual calendar. And here we have a control panel also so that you can manage your calendar. It's absolutely dynamic. You can select the year from this drop down we have given the year till 2050 which can be changed as per your requirement so let's say if i am selecting here 2022 then automatically entire calendar will be changed to 2022 similarly here for 2023 we have highlighted the holiday in yellow you can see here on the calendar and we have given the holiday list here you can change your holiday list Accordingly, that highlight of the holiday will be changed. Another thing we have given here, start with month. You can change the year starting according to your requirement. For example, if you want to create this calendar for a financial year, like in Indian financial year, we start from April. So you can start it from April. Automatically, you can see the top year has been changed 2023-24. Now calendar is starting from April and if I will scroll down then you can see it is ending with March 2024. Basically it will be 12 month calendar. You can choose with which month you want to start your calendar. Now you can also choose the start day of your week like it is Sunday by default. But if you want to start your calendar with Monday you can simply select here Monday or you can select any other day accordingly your calendar will be adjusted so it's fully dynamic the next thing we have given here that is change theme you can change the theme choosing the theme from here it is default theme you can take blue theme then here you can see it has been converted into beautiful blue theme you can choose here red or black or orange theme so whatever you want to take you can choose or you can keep it as default which is this beautiful green theme now we have given here the highlight of the week like if you will see in gray color we have highlighted sunday so you can change this let's say if your weekly off is on friday then you can choose friday or you can choose saturday if you want to highlight two week offs here then you can choose from here like Saturday and Sunday or Friday and Saturday whatever you want so you can choose two otherwise you can say here none or if you don't want to highlight even the single then you can select here none nothing will be highlighted if you want to highlight the holiday then you can check this otherwise you can uncheck this to highlight the holiday it is important to enter the holiday list here the first column which is date column is important rest you can put whatever information you want to put but for the calculation we are using only this first column all right friends now i will explain you step by step how you can create this beautiful calendar in microsoft excel so let's start without delay we will open a new workbook and we will explain you from the scratch so this is absolutely new workbook First what I will do, I will select the range from column A till column by or Z and right click go to the column bit take around 3 and click on OK. Now we will select from A1 till by 4. Select this range and click on merge and center on home tab. Make it slightly smaller row height. And go to the fill and let's fill this dark green color here and type here for now 2023. Later on we will make it dynamic. But to create the placeholder first we are putting some default values. Let's change the font as Comic Sans MS. And make it slightly bigger. White and make it bold. All right. Now from here which is cell B6. We will select these saving columns like this and use merge and center here. We will fill this green color and we will put here let's say 1st January 2023. 
change the font as same comic sans ms make it smaller around 9 and white bold now here we will put sunday and drag it till here so it will be filled for all day and from here we will put one and just drag this here we'll see this till saving or you can use this plus one and fill this here and from here i will use this plus one and just copy this one and paste here select this range and fill till here okay so we just have put the placeholders we will replace this with the formula so now select this all first change the font as this one make it smaller around 8 align center center for this header days name and let's change the color this one make this white select this range and press alt o e to open the format cells window and go to the border and change the border color here let's take this green outline inside okay all right let's go to the view and remove the grid lines from here now we will change the format of month here so select and press alt o e and open the format cells window go to the number custom and take here mmm dash bye 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 click on ok all right let's copy this and let's paste this from here and paste this from here now we will copy this one and we will paste it from here and we will paste it from here and we will paste it from here so basically we will put the 12 boxes for 12 months okay now we can go to the page layout and uh, we can select the orientation as portrait if I will press Ctrl P, then quickly we can see the print preview. It is coming good. The only thing, this by column is not coming properly. So make it slightly smaller. And column A also, we can reduce the size. So now it is coming properly. Okay. Our placeholder for the calendar is ready. Now we will make this dynamic and we will put few formulas. So we can rename this sheet as calendar. We will add another sheet which will be our setting sheet now let's come to the calendar and quickly we will create the control panel now to create this go to the insert and we will go to the shapes and insert this rectangle rounded rectangle shape drag this here change the radius of the corner go to the fill fill this light gray color and dark gray for the outline Go to the insert again insert another rectangle but this time we will take this rectangle and drag this rectangle here place this over this take the outline as no outline and shape fill will take a little darker gray this one all right let's go to the insert and text and insert this word art this one and rename this as control panel make the font size slightly smaller and place this here go to the developer tab and then go to the insert and we will insert here this group box rename this as input we will take here three input first to select the year another one starting month and then another one we will take the starting day of the year so go to the developer tab insert a combo box from here this one and drag that combo box here make the duplicate of this and just keep this here another one just keep this here Select these three and align left. Go to the save format, align left. Now copy this control panel text, make it slightly smaller and rename it as select year. Make this duplicate. This will be our starting month. This will be starting day of week. We'll quickly go to the setting sheet and we will put here year this will be our starting month and this will be our starting day of week so we have entered here these three things we will put dynamically here before that we will create few lists so let's say i am creating the year list here starting with 2020 just use here class one 
and let's take till 2050 you can modify this as per your requirement and let's create the month list here from January till December fill this down till December using fill handle then type here day list like Sunday and fill this till Saturday all right now go to the calendar right click go to the format control and for the first one this is for year input range go to the setting and we will provide this range in the cell link again go to the setting sheet and go to column C in front of year just select this range drop down let's take here around 15 okay if I will select any year here let's say 2023 then here it is showing force so let's do this activity with other two combo boxes also for month format control input range let's select this range cell link let's say this link and here again provide 15 or 12 let's select here January and for the day format control input range select this range and cell link this cell link click on ok select here sunday for example now whatever we have selected we need to get it here so i will use here index function and for the year i will select this range comma the row number i'll provide this next cell c2 and just hit the enter so we have selected 2023 which is here same we will use here index for month comma this cell and same for day also select this range okay so whatever we will select dynamically it will appear here let's go to the calendar and now let's make it dynamic first we will make dynamic for the year so we can simply select this cell so whatever year we will select it will appear here but in case you will select next month it should be 2026 and save in both okay so what i will do i'll use here if go to the setting sheet and i will select this month number if this number is greater than one then we will use available year and dash and i'll use here write function year plus one comma two comma in the else case we will select whatever year is there at the end if i will select fab then it will return the year in this format if i will select jan then it will return the proper year all right i will show you why we are doing this now dynamically to take the month here we will use here date function date First, we will provide the year. So, year we will take from here, whatever year we have selected. Press F4 to freeze this, comma. Starting month, we will take this one. Press F4 to freeze this. Day by default, we will take one and just hit the enter. If I will select here April, then here you can see it is showing April 2026. Or if you will select Jan, then it is showing Jan. Alright, now we will make this header also dynamic. To do this, let's delete this first. And first, we will take here equal to whatever value you have put here. Just press F4 to freeze this and just hit the enter. So we have this one. The next, we will take using the index function, we will create another column with days list after making it duplicate twice. Okay, so we will use here index and go to the setting sheet and we will take the index from here, comma, row number we will take whatever value is available here plus one and just close the breaking and hit the enter. We will freeze this cell K2K and this C4 also and we will fill till here. We will just change next in the next cell. Let's take two and here let's take 3 and here let's take 4 5 and 6 okay so we have sunday to saturday here 
if i will select monday then we have monday to sunday if i will select let's say wednesday then wednesday to tuesday okay it's fully dynamic now we will delete this and we will put our formula here and that will be if this cell equal to blank a8 equal to blank then we will use here if text this cell press f4 to freeze this comma ddd close the bracket if this is equal to this cell put the dollar before saving then we will take this one press f4 else we will take blank now the else case of the first one we will take this cell class one and just close the bracket hit the enter fill this right in the first row so we will format this d only take the day of select this range and press alt o e to open the format cells window custom and put here d okay okay so we are getting dates dynamically if i will select here 2023 then it is given from first use here if eo month of this comma zero the same month is greater than this plus one then we will take this plus one else we will take plan and just hit the enter just change the reference in the next cell we will take the reference from here and fill this right now we will select this range and fill till here okay it is showing here these errors so what we can do we can put another condition here copy this formula and we can say if this value equal to blank then blank else paste this we can fill till here and same thing we can repeat here if this value equal to blank then blank else this we can fill okay so because we haven't used the equal to here just use the equal to here and same here so all right so the first part is ready we can quickly copy this and we can paste this here here but these all boxes are for january so first we will change the month on the second one we will use the eu month function eo month and we will take this one comma zero and use plus one so this will be fab let's copy this function and paste this here in place of zero we will take one here paste this here and this time we will take two here repeat the same activity with other boxes okay so we have changed the header of each box but if you will see dates are same for each box and this is just because if you will see in the fab it is still connected with this cell so we have to change this reference and we have to connect with this cell which is j6 in place of b6 so what we can do we can select this range and here you will see this b6 this one we have used multiple places select this range press ctrl h and paste this b6 here and replace it with j6 for the second box put here j replace all so here you can see it is for fab now same thing i will do and uh, this time i'll take just click on this header and you can see the address here r6 so select this range and replace the b6 with r6 we will repeat this activity for all the boxes just click on the header and we will take the address as b15 all right so we have changed the formula for all the boxes now time to put the another control panel box and that box will be to change the theme and to highlight holiday so let's make it slightly bigger this control panel go to the developer tab and insert another group box here and just use it for change theme insert another one for highlight okay 
For theme, we will insert the option buttons, five option buttons. So let's take the first one and drag it here and rename it as default. I'm just inserting other option button using the same method. Okay, so we have inserted and renamed the option button successfully. Select all the option buttons here. Go to the save format, align them left and go to the again align, distribute vertically. In the highlight, we will add two combo boxes and one checkbox. So go to the again developer tab, insert this combo box and drag here. Make the duplicate of this and just put here, press Ctrl D to make this duplicate and we will insert a checkbox here. That will be highlight holiday. Make it slightly bigger. Now we will add the tax box and that will be highlight day one. Another one will be day two. Okay, so the design part is ready. Now make some changes here in the setting sheet. So first let's take for the highlight parts day one. Same highlight day two. And here we will use highlight holiday. All right. Now we will create another list here of the day and just paste this here. The first option we will put here none. Let's go to the calendar, right click, go to the format control, input range, setting sheet and select this range. Reference, go to the setting sheet and we will give this reference. The same thing we will repeat for the another combo box. Same reference. Cell link we will provide this one this time. And, uh, and for this checkbox, right click, go to the format control, come to the setting and just click here. Let's select here Sunday, let's select here Monday for example and highlight this holiday. Then you can see we have some numbers here. We will use the same technique, index function in this and select this range. So whatever we have selected on the combo box that will appear here and here we can put the formula if this value is true then put here yes else just put here no. Okay you want to highlight the holiday or not that will now here use another thing that is color theme. Okay so we will add another list here use here default and the other color name make sure you are using the same sequence default blue red orange black all right now if i will select here blue black or any other then that should appear there so i will right click on any option button format control and go to the cell link and just click here okay now we will put the index function here index this time we will take this P column, comma, this reference. So whatever you will select here, like blue, then it will appear here. All right. Now we will put the quickly conditional formatting. So let's select the first header. Press Alt O D to open the conditional formatting rule manager. New rule. Go to the use a formula to determine which cell to format. And here we will go to the setting. And if this value equal to blue. Then format and let's take this dark blue this one. Okay. Now make this rule duplicate four times. Now edit the second one and put here let's say black format and let's take this dark black color. Okay. Edit this with red format. Take this dark red this one let's say orange format this with this dark orange okay apply now i have selected blue here you can see blue is applied if i will select default the green color will be there red orange and black so it's working we will repeat this activity here also first we will apply to the first box then we can use the same formatting so select this one first press alt o d to open the rule manager and because we have selected entire box, so we will apply for the border. So go to the use a formula to determine which cell to format. Put here 
this cell equal to let's say blue form it border take here this light blue theme and just click here okay make the duplicate four times this one also and change accordingly okay so we are done just click on apply now if i will select default then you can see green border for black blue and it is getting changed change the header of this month also select only this header press alt od new rule use a formula to determine which set to format setting select this equal to let's say blue format fill let's take this blue color okay make the duplicate four times and edit accordingly all right so we have changed the header also you can see for the first box now we will change this days header also select this one press alt od and new rule this one let's say equal to blue then here we will take little lighter the previous let's take from the top section this one okay make the duplicate four times here also edit the second one okay we have taken four colors apply okay so you can see the first box is properly changing okay now we will apply the other condition formatting like highlight day one so we will select this range press alt o d and new rule and we will put the formula here this cell b7 and just uh, delete the dollar sign before the column if this cell equal to and just come here and uh, this one the first highlight day equal to this one go to the format highlight with this light gray, light gray color okay okay we will duplicate this one and edit this and this time in place of b7 of the setting sheet we will take b8 for the day 2 apply so here you can see we have selected sunday and monday if i will select let's say sunday and saturday you can see it is getting changed all right I can select here none and nothing will be highlighted all right now quickly we can highlight the holiday also so add the holiday list here i'm using the same holiday list which i have created here you can put your holiday list select this range press alt od new rule and we will put the formula and we will use here is error function inside this use the match function active cell is b8 you can see here this one and comma holiday list let's take this a comma zero we are matching that active cell in the holiday list if it is there then that match function will not return the error so i'll use here false okay and use the format let's say this one okay okay apply so here you can see it is highlighting the holiday but if i will uncheck this then it should not highlight so we will connect this one also so let's edit this select press alt od edit and we will use another function just cut this use here and function and come to the setting sheet and we can say this equal to yes and another function this one okay we can move it down slightly here it will not highlight the holiday in week off all right if i will check then you can see it is highlighting all right none then it is highlighting few holiday in sunday also all right so it is done now quickly we can select this range go to the home double click on the home format painter select this automatically it will be applied we will repeat this activity in all the boxes okay so it is done and we can see here if i will change the theme then it is working we can go to the view and we can remove the headings now so that it will look more beautiful if i will press ctrl p 
then you can see print preview is available but the second page also available for the print preview which is the control panel so what we can do we can select the range here let's say this range and then we can go to the page layout and we can set the print area this one set the print area now if i will press ctrl p then you can see it is not taking the second page so now you can convert this into pdf or you can take the print out it is always dynamic friends you can download this template from my website it is absolutely free available it's fully dynamic you can use this in your office and you can create the pdf files or you can take the print out of this by selecting any year or any month whatever you want I hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching